Good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome to Storytime Active for Warts and All Theatre. Um, every Wednesday morning at 10.30 for the next few weeks as part of our Link programme, which is our online offer um, during this time. Um, every Wednesday morning, 10.30, we're doing a story and we're using our bodies and our faces and our voices to bring the story to life. Um, and this morning's story is a really, really lovely story. It's called what do you do with an idea? And it's all about how to use your amazing, wonderful, brilliant ideas and bring them to life and look after them and maybe change the whole world with them. Who knows? Uh, so that's our story this morning. I'm really excited to share it with you. I'm going to take my glasses off. I can't see you. I've got dirty glasses this morning. OK, um, so what to do with an idea? So before we do our story, for those of you that have um, joined Storytime Active before, you'll know that we always just warm ourselves up before we start our story. So sometimes we might shake our bodies around or get our faces all warmed up and our voices. And we're going to do all those things this morning before we start with our storytelling. And so we'll start with our body and we'll start with our hands. I'm going to give them a good old shake, shake them really, 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 really hard and shake them all the way up to the sky and all the way down to the floor and all the way up again and all the way down again and get them really, really, really jiggly. So you can feel all your muscles in your hands start to wake up ready for the day. And we'll do the same thing with our whole arms. We'll shake them really, 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 really hard. And then we're going to shake our legs next. You might want to start with one leg and shake it as hard as you can. Can you balance while you do that? Well done. And the other leg, give it a really, 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 really big shake. And then we're going to shake our whole bodies like we're a big jiggly pile of jelly on a plate. And just jiggle them and shake them and wiggle around. And kick your legs and jiggle your tummy. Get your whole body all woken up. Well done. And now that your body is all woken up, we're going to wake our faces up. And the way that we're going to do that is like this. We are going to get, some of you will already know, a big, huge, invisible sweetie. I'm going to put it in our mouths. I'm going to chew it and chew it and chew it and suck it and suck it and suck it as hard as we can until we swallow it down. So you can decide what flavour your sweetie is today. I've got a yellow one today, a lemon one. Oh, it's very lemony. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to chew it really hard. And my cheeks. <gasps> Solid it down. Mmm, delicious. You can tell me what flavour yours is if you like. And then we're going to get our voices woken up once we've swallowed our giant, enormous, sticky, chewy sweeties. And the way that we're going to wake our voices up is like this. I'm going to hold my hands like this. And we're going to say, good morning, in a little whispery voice. And then when my hands go up, we'll say it again a bit louder and a bit louder and a bit louder and really, 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 really loudly. And then we'll get a little bit quieter again until we're back to a whisper. And we'll do it all together. Are you ready? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Really loud. Good morning. Well done. And a bit quieter again. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well done. And now your body's had a good old jiggle and your face is all woken up and your voice is all woken up. And that means we're ready for our story this morning. So for everyone that's just joined us, hello, welcome. Welcome to Storytime with Watson All Theatre. Uh, and this morning's story is called, What Do You Do With An Idea? And I hope you're going to really love this one. It's one of my favourites. I always choose my favourites, but this one is a particular favourite favourite. Here we go. One day, I had an idea. There's the little idea there, you see it? 
Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered. What do you do with an idea? What do you think we should do with the idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it. So I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me. We could try that, couldn't we? Pretend you've got a big, exciting, shiny idea here. But you're not really sure about it. You sort of ignore it. Oh, no. Not looking at that idea. Walk away. Pretend you can't see it. Bit like you might do if you've got an annoying little brother or sister sometimes. Pretend they're not there. Bit like that. But it followed me. See it there? Following along. <gasps> what do you think you would look like if you were trying to ignore something and it followed you? Would you be looking back over your shoulder? I would. Thinking, why is it still following me? Would you say anything to it? I wonder what you would do. I worried what others would think. What would people say about my idea? Have you got a worried face? Does your face look like if you're really worried? Worried what others might think, what they might say. That's a big worry, isn't it, sometimes? I kept it to myself. I hid away and I didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. Do you want to try hiding away? Is there somewhere in the room you're in that you can hide? Or maybe you can hide with your hands? Do some hiding. Kept it to myself and hid it away. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. There's the magical idea, look. I wonder how you look when something's making you feel really happy and better and it seems really magical. I'd love to see your very excited, happy, magical faces. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. This idea needs so much. I wonder if we could give our ideas some food and play some games with them. I wonder what your great ideas like to eat. I think mine like strawberries. I'm going to give my ideas some strawberries. Mm, maybe another one. Maybe another one to keep it growing. And I wonder what games your great ideas would like to play. My great ideas, I think, probably like to play tickling and hopscotch and running games because I think they've got loads of energy and they like doing games that help them move lots. So I'm going to tickle my idea. And I might do some hopscotch with it. Hopscotch. Hopscotch. And I might do some running and chase it across the room and catch it. And then it might chase me and I might run away. We play lots of games together. Give it loads of attention. It grew bigger and we became friends. See there? Carrying the idea. I showed it to other people, even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. <gasps> wonder how that would feel. You show all these people your amazing idea and they say unkind things like it's no good and it's too weird. I would feel very sad. 
And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. There's the idea there. This little person walking away. <sighs> but then I realised, what do they really know? This is my idea. No one knows it like I do. And it's okay if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food, I worked with it, I played with it. But most of all, I gave it my attention. Shall we try that? We're going to protect our idea. What do you look like when you're protecting something? Do you get very strong and protect them like this with your body? Do you hold a hand up to stop everything else coming near? Do our strong, protective and care for it. So you could take your idea. What does it need for you to care for it? Do you need to give it a little hug or a stroke? Or just look at it for a while, listen to what it needs to tell you. Care for your idea and feed it good food. Mine is still eating all the strawberries. Give it a few more. And play with it. Bit more tickling over here. But most of all, I gave it my attention. Just gave it some attention. Let's see what happens next. My idea grew and grew. And so did my love for it. Wonder if we could try being the idea growing and growing. Maybe you start off as a tiny little idea and get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Well done. Huge idea shining brightly. I built it a new house with an open roof where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. Wow. I wonder if you could make a house for your idea. Maybe you could make one using your body. You could turn your body into a house. Or if there's two of you or more than two of you, you could use your bodies together to make a beautiful house for your idea to live in. And maybe it's got a roof that opens so it can look up at the sky. I'd love to see a photo if you do make a house with your bodies. That would be really lovely. A place where it would be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands because it said it's good to have the ability to see things differently. Can you walk on your hands? That's quite hard. I definitely can't walk on mine. But I wonder, even if you can't, if you want to try and see things differently and look at everything upside down. Maybe you want to turn your body upside down or put your hands on the floor on your head so you can look upside down at everything and see how it looks the wrong way round. See if you've got the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then, one day, something amazing happened. Look. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight and burst into the sky. Wow, look at it. Maybe we could be the idea doing that. Spreading our wings and taking flight and bursting into the sky. And maybe your idea bursts with a big jump or a dance or a huge, beautiful sound or a song. Maybe your idea twirls and twists around. And you could be your idea bursting into the world.
I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was a part of everything. And then I realised what you do with an idea. You change the world. The end. That was what do you do with an idea? And we found out, I think, that what you do with an idea is you change the whole world. And I would love to know if you've got any really wonderful ideas and maybe you could tell us about them um, in the comments or draw a picture and send it to us of your amazing idea and what you think you could change in the world. We would love to know what your amazing ideas are about how we could change the world. Thank you so much for joining me for Storytime Active this morning. Um, I'm Lindsay here for Warts and All Theatre as part of our Link programme. We've got loads of exciting things going on, um, including a bedtime story on a Monday evening at 6.30 and then the 10.30am Wednesday Storytime Actives. Um, so please do have a look, see what else is happening and we'd love to see you here for more Storytimes again soon. Thanks so much. Bye everyone. Have a wonderful day. Go and change the world. Bye.